Hey guys, Spencer Kaufman here with the Internet Hustler YouTube channel. Today we're talking about how to remove your personal information from an online public record database called anywho.com. So this is a public record database. You can check out all of my opt-out videos on this playlist. There'll be a card right here. So check that out. Also make sure you subscribe to the channel, hit the bell icon and the like button on the video so you can continue to be updated on new opt-out databases. So this is Anywho. Uh, removing is pretty simple. We've noticed a theme in a lot of these videos. If you've been following, you know what I'm talking about. So what we're going to do is scroll down to the bottom of the page, anywho.com. So this will be in the description below. And there is a link down here. It says, do not sell my info. Now we notice one thing right away that in the bottom corner down here, in the bottom left, there is a website that says intellius.com opt out. Uh, most of these online data brokers seem to be owned or managed by Intellius. Uh, nevertheless, even though we have already done an opt out video on Intellius and on many other sites that run through Intellius, uh, we're still going to continue with the opt out procedure for this website. Now, the other thing you notice is right here, it says privacy policy of Intellius. So we know it's managed by them. Nevertheless, let's do this, open in a new tab. This link will be in the description below as well. All right, are you currently, or have you ever been an Intellius customer? No. All right, start here, enter your information. So we're gonna do some generic information. State, all of them, we will do in Alabama. All right, email address. This is important. I would never recommend using your personal email address. Definitely get a fake email address. Now, you have two options. You can either use a fake mail generator, which is a free temporary email. That's what I usually do. Uh, I have my opt out at Army Spy, so I copy that and then paste it in there, receive the verification email, and that's it. Or what you should do, since you have a lot of these you're going to be following, I use this, this fake email generator because I pay a service to keep my information off of many websites. That's why we're not using my name in here because we're not gonna find it. That service, uh, you could check out the playlist in a card up here. Uh, it's a really good service. There'll be a link for them in the description below. They're called Brand Yourself. Uh, they're highly worth it in my opinion because they constantly monitor every single month to keep my personal information off of the public record databases and data brokers, which helps me protect my identity, etc. cetera. Uh, so if you don't wanna pay them, then you can keep following along with these videos. I'll show you how to remove your information from all of these websites. What you're gonna to wanna to do is get a, an email address like a Gmail or a Yahoo that's like opt out at gmail.com or something like that, opt out your name at gmail.com, whatever's available, keep that and use that email for all of these opt out requests and only that email and only use it for all of these websites. That way it's just kind of like a disposable email that you can send all your junk to and you can continue using it over and over again. Because sometimes you're gonna need to send an email to some of these places in order to remove your information. So then you're gonna need to use an email you can send from and you can't do that with fake mail generator. So anyway, continuing on, we will see what happens. Now let's say it's Jonathan R. Anderson. Oh great, that's me uh, from Alabama, 40 years old or maybe 26 or 35, whichever one. And then it's simple. You click remove this record. Now, complete the cap patchka or captcha or whatever. The buses, grab all these. All right, level one passed. Okay, now what's happening? There we go. Email sent to opt out at armyspy.com. So we're not gonna complete it because maybe this guy wants to be in the record. However, most people don't. So. What would happen now is they're gonna send an email to your address and any minute now it's going to come in here and then what you're going to do is click on the opt out email link to verify you want your information removed from not only Intellius but specifically anywho.com. So here it is, Intellius. One more step is required. 
please confirm your email to opt out, etc. So we're not going to do this because I, I don't want to remove this person's information without their consent. But this gives you the idea and the exact uh, process and procedure to remove your personal information from the Anywho public record database. So hopefully you found this video helpful. Please like the video if you did. In addition, I hope you subscribe to the channel. Also, if you subscribe and like the video or have any questions, please comment below. I like to see all the comments and I really enjoy uh, helping you guys out. That's the purpose of these videos. Also, if you're interested in paying a service to do it for you, check out the link in the description below. I use them and I think they're very good, uh, but you don't have to do that. You can save the money if you want to continue following this channel because we have a ton of opt-out videos that are going to be being posted online. So make sure to subscribe to the channel. Until next time.